Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Simrail. Yes, today I am back. Finally. Chat. Finally. <laughs> it's been so, so long. <laughs> yeah, two weeks, is it? Yeah. I think it was two weeks uh, since I last time streamed. Uh, so today's stream might be a little bit different than the previous ones. Uh, because every now and then, uh, whenever I discover that something doesn't really work exactly as it should, I am going to try and fix it live. Uh, so, uh, yeah, <laughs> things might go really wrong. Uh, I, I am still trying to set up my uh, my rig and, and, and everything. And the best thing to do is to pretty much start streaming and, and, and see what's going to happen, isn't it? <laughs> So that's that's exactly what I'm gonna do. <laughs> anyway, let's have a look who is here with me. Bravura, hello, hello, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Uh, Oli RC, hello, hello. Luigi Rota, hello. <laughs> oh my goodness me, so many people all the way, all the way at the start. That's nice. That's nice. And and it's Thursday. Oh dear lord. So people will have to get get up to work tomorrow and, and stuff. Oh dear lord, dear lord, dear lord. Right. Uh chat, I am still waiting for servers to restart. I believe that is supposed to happen uh, really, really soon. And then I will try and, and catch some some nice train to, to drive it today. Uh, let me just quickly have a look on the map. Yeah, ideally I would like to start at Warsaw, but I don't want to drive one of those super fast trains. Uh, I, I thought about something relaxing like EC uh, from, from Warsaw to, to Katowice. Uh, yeah, that, that that is a long route, I, I, I know that, uh, but bear with me chat, bear with me. I would love to, to catch one of those, either from Katowice to Warsaw or from Warsaw to Katowice. Uh, whichever direction we will pick, uh, the service should restart roughly around now, is it? Uh, or, or did they scrap the server restarts now? I don't know. I, I haven't been online for two weeks, so the game has changed. There, there was a patch. And I know they made some changes. Uh, graphics look slightly different. Some people might tell hmm, it might be a bit better. Some people might say it might be a bit worse. There are a few bits and pieces that they changed for better. And there are a few bits and pieces that they changed for worse. That That's my opinion. Like, okay, I, I like how they changed the colors and, and stuff. So it's a bit more land right now and and like colors are are, uh, are a little bit washed and, and stuff but that causes a lot of exposure to hdr that's that they uh, made and and the game feels too bright uh the reset seems to be a bit random to me nowadays i i thought it was supposed to be midnight 6 to uh, 12 and uh, 6 i've lost track uh, so yeah, uh, well, uh, those times uh, refer to Polish time, so uh, you need to remember that there is a time zone difference. So right now it's uh, quarter past five in, in the UK, which means that uh, it's also quarter past six in Poland. Uh, so technically, the servers should restart really soon. Although in practice, uh, I, I can see that some servers are still online. Uh, let me just quickly check if if I got. Oh, there we go. Uh, are the serv okay? Some servers are restarting. In fact, yeah, English two is restarting. English five is restarting. Okay, yeah. So the server restart goes on, uh, and they are working on it. I am looking for English 1 uh, and the question is uh, did that server actually restart? Uh, 
that is a good question. I, I, I don't think it it restarts. Hmm. Restarting now will take a bit until all servers. Yeah, uh, it, it would be nice to know roughly at what time EN1 server restarts, uh, because that's the one that I'm planning to join. And obviously it would make no sense for me to join right now, just for the server to restart in like three minutes. Uh, that is one of the quality of life improvements that developers would need to implement. That's when you browse through servers, it would be nice that when you at least hover over the server or, or whatever, or when you click on the server, it will give you a pop-up message. Okay, server is going to restart in, let's say, five minutes. And then I'm happy with this. Uh, that That is an information for me uh, that tells me when things are going to happen. Uh, because right now I'm, I'm running a bit blind uh, when it comes to server restarts. I don't know when things are going to happen. And I can only observe. Okay, English one server is now restarting according to... Uh, according to online map. <laughs> Which means very soon I will be try, uh, well, I will be trying to join appropriate service. So what I'm trying to catch is Eurocity service from Katowice to Warsaw or from Warsaw to Katowice. Uh, that is a very, very long route, chat. That is a very long route, uh, but it will be really, really nice to uh, to catch one. And, and get a full route, full experience of, of that. Sadly, you c well, you can technically do that in single player, but we all know how how single player scenarios look like. And yeah, this is a work in progress. <laughs> and also having that in multiplayer uh, brings extra spice to, to the whole fun. Uh, so yeah, I, I really like how, how multiplayer works sometimes. Uh, so let's see, EN1 seem to have... Okay, EN1 seems to work, uh, but I need appropriate train. So let's have a quick look and uh, no, there is no train in here. And there is no train in here. I believe uh, it should be spawning soon. That is TLK, that is EIP, no. Chat, bear with me, bear with me, bear with me. I am still waiting for that one, one train that I look forward to. It should be spawning soon. Uh, that goes from... no, that goes in a different direction. Uh, that doesn't go where I want. Where is the train that I'm looking for? Hmm. Yeah, I am still waiting for the train, chat. I am still waiting for that train. I'm quite sure that it should spawn really soon. And that's S1, that's not the one that I'm looking for, that is... EIP4132, technically I could take it, but I'm not interested in fast trains, uh, so I would like to avoid uh, using Pendolino, uh, I'm not fan of it, at least until developers will introduce ETCS. 
Uh, so I'm looking for EC. Hmm. I just can't remember what times they start on. Uh, it is roughly around 20 past uh, one of the ECs should start. Uh, so it shouldn't take too long now, chat. It shouldn't take too long. Uh, I am still looking after them. Oh, uh, and I messed up. Uh, okay. No, that is other train. Uh, the lot. Okay, someone already took that pendolino. Perfect. But I'm surprised there's so little EC trains right now. Let's have a look. You see, you see, okay, these are already going. But I'm sure there's going to be another one very soon. No one is actually dispatching at Wazi. Hmm. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Looks like people lost some interest in, in dispatching, to be honest. Uh, like, the servers that used to be completely rammed, uh, like two weeks ago, uh, right now you can actually find some dispatcher slots empty, uh, which is like wow yeah um, in well two weeks uh back like i i couldn't really get onto any dispatcher and right now uh on en1 uh roughly roughly 10 minutes after restart there's still gravodowska knapówka urszamowice pilichowice oposzno południe dąbrowa górnicza and Dąbrowa Górnicza Wschodnia. Uh, there's... Sosnowiec Południe is free. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> Sosnowiec Południe has been taken by someone. Uh, I am looking to drive some trains today. I, I don't want to be a dispatcher, honestly. Uh, it's fun to, to do some dispatching, yes. Uh, and it can be really, really fun. Uh, but I prefer to drive, like, honestly, just sit down in your cabin and, and just drive your train. Uh, obviously, I don't want to drive one of the commuter trains in, uh, on a very short route. I, I'm looking for something longer and catching one of those trains is, is like, wow, sometimes it's impossible. Uh, there's, uh, yeah, that is going from Ian Jayev to uh, just the Hova Tavarova. Uh, so there is TCE 245055. And that is a very long route and that goes from Senjishov. It goes through Dombrova Gurnicza. And then it goes up through Zawiercie. Heading through Meshkov, where the train will despawn. So that's roughly a 100 kilometer long route, uh, which is really nice, really nice. Uh, if someone wants to take that, uh, then there is a TCE 245055. And I strongly rec recommend this service if, if someone wants to take it. Uh, let me just check it. I am looking for that EC train. Oh come on! There should be, uh, there should be some spawns. Uh, there, there's like two EC trains each hour, and I can't figure out what time they spawn.
And the train you are looking for spawns in Warszawa at 25 minutes every hour. So technically it should spawn right now. Yes, 14135. Perfect. Where are you, you cheeky bugger? Can I catch it? Okay, it, it's still not showing on the list. Uh, in fact, uh, 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 I might do that. I know which train I'm looking for now. Hopefully I can catch it. Uh, 14135, come on you cheeky. The list doesn't refresh automatically anymore, is it? Yeah, I, I, I think you have to do it that way. Uh, reconnect to the server every now and then. And hopefully... Also good for EDR when dispatching. Why is it good for EDR when dispatching? Ah, oh, come on. Where is that train? Like, literally, catching a correct service in this game sometimes takes ages. Ah, yes, uh, true, true. Oh, come on, the, the service is still not, not there. I'm not sure why, but I still can't pick it up. Well, at least I know the number. Oh, I see. I, I think it will happen after the train will go through entry signal to Warszawa uh, Wschodnia. Uh, but obviously, the train is actually waiting at the semaphore, <laughs> according to the map. Oh dear lord. So I need to wait for for the game to let the train in. And then I should be able to spawn on it. Stay in the train view, it auto-refreshes. I have a feeling that it won't refresh correctly. Well, it, it has some refresh rate, uh, but obviously I might be able to catch the service sooner. Hmm.
it would be nice if they would add a, like a multiplayer join lobby where I can pick up a specific service that I want to pick up. And join it. And then this, the game will tell me, okay, on this server, you can join in on that service that you want. And, and specifically like join by service that I want to make rather than join by server and, and then figure out if, if there are any any good services. Anyway, chat. I got it. We are at Warszawa Wschodnia, uh, currently approaching the station. So what I'm gonna do uh, to start fresh and start like clean, I'm gonna let AI to drive this train all the way to the platform and then I will take it over at the platform same as like a normal drivers would do yeah so if, if there is a driver change it won't happen during the road or on the road and uh, so let's let's watch how AI is driving this train obviously uh, it, it looks weird it looks weird when AI is driving especially when you are in the cab view because AI doesn't use regulator at all. Like literally. Uh, so we can do some outside views. There we go. So we got IC train. I like delivery. The problem is there should be a PKP Intercity logo. Uh, and obviously since the game doesn't have a license uh, with them or for their logo. They can do entire livery except the logo in the middle which is funny like it this locomotive looks naked without the logo literally but hey here we are chat at Warszawa Wschodnia that is the first time on my stream when we are actually visiting Warszawa or Warsaw uh, so it's gonna be interesting to see uh, where we will end up uh, there's gonna be plenty of time uh, for us and uh, because if I remember correctly the stops at Warsaw are quite long although hmm, let's see uh, okay that's a three minute stop it's not too bad uh, let me take over and uh, 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 let's Let's put on the brakes, uh, as always, uh, we want rapid, uh, because we are driving Euro City. Uh, cab lighting is not important, instrument lightning definitely. It's 5, 5, well, uh, 25, well, half past 5. Uh, I, I'm still taking in, in different time zones probably. Uh, it's half past five so the route should finish at around 8 p.m. so we will see how the skybox will change during the ride uh, that's gonna be interesting because uh, obviously it's gonna be evening in the game uh, let's see I can barely see the semaphore which is nice I, I, I literally need to zoom in to see the semaphore which helps uh, well it doesn't uh, right clean setting low current okay we are on radio one is that a correct radio that is the question I, I think the radio what is the correct radio for Warsaw oh dear lord hmm. okay I'm, I'm gonna stay on radio one but I, I have a feeling that I'm gonna get negative points and the game will have to tell me which radio channel I need to use uh, I can't remember I think normally it's it's radio 2 for for Warsaw uh, but I might be wrong okay you know what I, I'm gonna set it for radio 2 or should I stay on radio 1 chat help does anyone remember which radio channel is for Warsaw I can't remember and, and there's no information on the sign table, sadly.
Radio 2 is correct. Okay, perfect. Yeah, uh, I heard they fixed radio channels, so I, I switched the game back to manual channels. Uh, so if I will miss the sign, then obviously I will have to switch it to correct radio channel, which hopefully should make sense. Uh, Luigi Retta, uh, I love this train, it's very similar to Camion uh, and to Camion track and that old steering speed control remains of my old track. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Right, chat, we are still waiting for departure. Uh, obviously, our planned departure happens in about a minute, so the semaphore should also follow. Uh, but the station is dispatched by AI, so things might change. My plans might change and I might have to stay on this platform for a little bit longer. Yep, it looks like I'm gonna stay on this platform for just a bit longer. I think what they did, uh, they set up AI to wait until the full minute. So the clock that I have in here doesn't really match the actual clock in the game. Uh, I think there was an issue with that. Uh, Luigi Rota, uh, the locomotive I'm driving is completely electric locomotive. Uh, there are no diesel locomotives in the game. Right, chat. We are going. I'm not fully aware what is the speed limit around here, uh, but I assume it's gonna be around 80 kilometers per hour. Uh, the departure is at 40, so at least I don't have to worry about that, but I'm not sure what is the track speed limit. I think it was 80. Okay, switch to correct radio channel, perfect, so the game is not going to punish me, at least for now. Okay, let, let's stay on that one. Oh, okay, there is R2 sign anyway. Okay, chat, enjoy Warsaw. Okay, and the speed limit is 80 kilometers per hour, just as I predicted. Uh, so, what you can see in front of us, that's a round building uh, with red and white uh, tiles, is a national stadium. Oh, come on, you cheeky bugger. But I started to speed up too quickly. Okay, that 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 should be gone now. So that is National Stadium for you. Where the final match of Euro 2012 took place, if I remember correctly, was it? I, I think it was in National Stadium in in, uh, in Poland. Or was it only opening one? I, I can't remember which one was it. <laughs> and there we go, that is a Vistula river. And we are just crossing it. And very soon we should arrive at Warsaw Central. 
uh, we technically got about two minutes uh, to get there although I have a feeling I'm gonna be a bit late go I think they've th well they slightly fixed the lights uh, it, it's still not perfect it, it still kind of has some issues uh, but it looks better than it used to uh, so I, I guess they did a good job when it comes to lights somewhat good job when it comes to lights Okay, we are slowly approaching Warsaw Central uh, and because I, I was coasting I actually managed to slow down to the correct speed oh okay I, I think there is something else that I missed because there was a sign for 60 and all of a sudden I am in speed limit violation when I'm doing 45 so I, I must have missed something oh yeah I, I probably missed a semaphore did I <laughs> there we go oh yeah yeah the semaphore was at 40 and, and I was doing 60 so I was still too quick Oh dear lord. That's me being distracted for you, chat. <laughs> I'm always distracted with something lately. Alright chat, we are here, we got extra two minutes to wait, very soon we should be able to depart. Uh, Luigi Rota, not exactly like okay yes the companies have to pay extra for emissions uh, but it's not that bad with CO2 emissions uh, like many of diesel engines uh, especially when it comes to cars obviously uh, 
they actually qualify for those low emission zones uh, so yeah I, I'm sure some locomotives will also qualify for like okay they, they do have emissions because obviously they burn diesel but generating electricity for entire railway line also generates a lot of CO2 so uh, there are still exchanges here and there that you have to make right I'm still waiting for this semaphore to change uh, and I'm quite sure that it has something to do with this train okay and now we can depart so off we go chat off we go departure speed limit is 40 there's a bit too much reflections inside the cabin especially from the back there shouldn't be uh, such things uh, which also tells me that uh, like a locomotive box uh, tends to uh, let the light through it's it's like a transparent for the lights uh, which is probably not the correct setting for it well the players can't go through but apparently the light does and that is the problem oh, okay so that is the correct position and we got some weird stuff oh okay so that's where the lightning change and you can see the difference in HDR of oh the Lord that that was way too bright and, and the effect wasn't really good I'd say Oh, Choo Choo Charles! Oh dear lord, I, I heard about it and, and a few people asked me about that. I, I might give it a shot uh, around, I don't know, September probably. <laughs> that that would be suiting uh, time to, to play it, uh, like wh when you when you approach Halloween and stuff. Is it? I, 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 I think it's a horror game, is it? It's not that I, I'm usually bothered too much by horrors so if you are expecting me to, to like show some emotions uh, I, I, I'm afraid in, in that sense I am kind of emotionless so <laughs> it, it doesn't really work on me yes I, I get jump scared uh, it, it, it's not impossible to, to get me jump scared but uh, you really have to work hard for it Right, chat, we are now approaching Warszawa Zachodnia, or Warsaw West, if, if someone prefers an uh, English name of that. There we go, that is entry semaphore, and it tells me that the next one is showing me stop signal. Which is appropriate because the platform is just right here, and I'm doing 70 km per hour. Oh, that is quick. There we go, chat. I managed to stop on time, more or less. And we're gonna make it up. Uh, because obviously 
right after Warsaw West. Uh, the next stop is probably around Opoczno Południe, uh, which means that we will have another 20 minutes of, of well, 20 minutes. We will have probably like an hour drive without any interruptions. So this is pretty much the last time that we can have a look at Warsaw, enjoy the scenery. Like it, it's done pretty well. I, I, I can tell you that, chat. It, it's done really, really well in this game. Uh, although, yeah, there are a few bits and pieces they could improve. Uh, oh, there we go. We can now depart. Uh, so. Before this patch, I have a feeling like DLSS was doing much better job than it does now. It's still not too bad, uh, but I, I think DLSS uh, has become a little bit worse. Or they've changed something else in, in the graphics and, and the game looks slightly worse and, and it feels like anti-aliasing which, which wasn't the best in the, in this game uh, is is becoming a little bit worse uh, I had to edit the game files to, to change some things in the settings so for example draw distance is a little bit longer for me than it would be for other players because I extended that to a thousand meters both for tracks and catenary uh, because like when you zoomed in you could literally see the drawing of the tracks. Uh, right now you can see the grass uh, when it's drawn. You can clearly make it up uh, when the grass is spawning and stuff. But that is a very little thing when, when you are looking at, at stuff from, from the cab view. It, it's not really that much visible. Uh, especially when you are watching someone uh, streaming the game. But Oh, uh, that is R5. Uh, I, I, I shall... I shall change to the right radio channel and we are... We are entering 90 kilometers per hour speed limit. I really need to pay attention to, to the signs because obviously I haven't really driven much. Oh come on, driving with the wrong radio channel. It, it, it was showing Radio 5, is it? Oh okay, it, it might have been Radio 5 for this route, not for this route, oh dear lord. Okay, at least I know I can travel at 100 kilometers per hour and very soon that will go all the way to 120. And that is going to be the top speed at which I will be traveling at. Well, technically the train will be limited to 125, uh, which is the maximum speed limit of, of this locomotive. And I could technically go that fast, but there are reason I, I I think we can go at 120 or at least I usually keep my speed at 120 anyway uh, but if I will go slightly over I, I won't really have to worry about that because yeah the maximum speed limit for this train will soon become 125 right now it's 120 so let's speed up and gain some time the quicker i can speed up uh, the quicker i can reach my next destination and obviously that will give me some extra time there we go i'm passing uh, warsaw Włochy on time which is nice it's good to know that that we are right on time spot on that is some good driving here, chat. Good driving.
radio too okay reinforced in message uh, so at least i'm i'm 100 percent sure that i'm on the correct radio channel now and the track speed limit is now 160 which means that i can speed up to 120 and try and keep it that way so this is gonna be well probably the most boring part of the route uh, because all the places that we will visit from now on uh, will be AI operated until we reach uh, Opochno Południe uh, which is the first post that will be player operated or that can be player operated because it, it doesn't exactly have to be operated by a player but from what I can see the game really runs well on, on the new patch uh, even though I cranked it up a little bit uh, compared to what you can normally change in the settings uh, the game runs really well even with the streaming on uh, even with all that stuff like things are working working really really well uh, obviously the final verdict should be given when I reach Katowice uh, because that's that is the whole route uh, and, and, and that that is going to take around three hours to complete I'm passing next to some players probably there we go and now I am going on a separate route there we go Okay, I can let it coast. Uh, the next semaphore is going to limit my speed down to a hundred kilometers per hour, so I, I better slow down. There we go. Okay, and now we can fly it. Oh, what is the number of that freight train? Can anyone tell me? Uh, I, I would love to drive it one day. It's not often that you can drive a freight train on... on this railway line. I am still on time at Pruskov. So I didn't manage to gain any so far. Uh, but by by the end I might be able to gain a few minutes. That's TLA uh, 11 30 84. Okay, thank you very much John Doe. Thank you very much. So where is it going from? Uh, is it going from uh, I don't know is it going all the way from Katowice or or does it start somewhere else 
or perhaps the developers went crazy and, and they start a service at Senjishuf and, and go all the way to Warsaw. <laughs> that, that would be interesting service, although a bit pointless. <laughs> Super fast. Koluski. Uh, oh, where's Koluski? Oh, dear lord. Uh, Kolus Koluski. I, I will be passing through it. Am I? Not sounding a warning signal. I, I just sounded one, you cheeky bugger. I, I, I thought they fixed that. Like, I, I thought they literally said that that the doubled sign on Prushkov has been fixed and apparently it isn't oh okay we we had a car stuck between the barriers how lovely Super fast. That is not super fast, Luigi. That that is not yet super fast. And the quickest you can go in this game technically is 200 kilometers per hour. Technically, because right now ETCS system doesn't work. So, if you want to go by the rules, uh, you will limit the speed even of uh, ICE to 130 kilometers per hour. Uh, because you are the only driver in the cabin and ETCS system doesn't work. <laughs> but hey, uh, they, they're gonna introduce it at some point and, and the ETCS will work and, and that's gonna be fun and that's when I will start driving uh, Pendolino uh, because obviously then it will make sense. Cause right now driving on this route with 200 km well at speeds of 160 or 200 kilometers per hour is like I, I wouldn't do that honestly I can barely spot signs and signals on time while driving at 120 imagine doing that at 200 like no way <laughs> I would gain all the penalties that are possible or derail a train which which makes no sense That was neutral section. Oh, uh, that was too quick. There we go chat, that is going to be a very very long route and uh, we should arrive at Katowice around half past 8 probably. Hi Blacktail, hello, welcome to the stream and thank you very much for following. I hope you will enjoy. Okay, we are now approaching Grodzisk Mazowiecki. We should be there in about three minutes. Okay, that's one bad blast, or yeah, uh, that's one bad blast uh, automatic block signal. And therefore the next one is going to be the last one.
nice and easy that that is probably the most boring part of the route chat uh, like we don't have any specific stops oh and, and there we go and, and the next one is showing stop signal so we have to start slowing down which is one of the problems of this game AI doesn't really give you the signal on time I can almost guarantee you that when I reach the next post or the next semaphore it will show green I am almost certainly sure that by now it shows green but I can't confirm it until I get that close to the semaphore and it's green so I slowed down all the way to 40 just to speed up pretty much almost instantly there we go that's how you do it uh, yes it is pretty annoying and uh, hopefully developers are going to fix that uh, because AI is definitely taking way too long to set the signals uh, I know it happens every now and then and they could give a random chance for AI to actually not set your signal instantly uh, but usually yeah if you are just passing through uh, AI should just set your signals and, and you should be on your way because it makes no sense to stop you or slow you down every every time you approach the signal uh, on top of that even if dispatcher won't set your signal on time uh, normally there would be a way to contact with them so like if, if that would happen around Katowice I could always message a dispatcher and ask them hey is there gonna be a route uh, and if they would say yes I am already setting your route I would just kept my speed because by the time I would reach a semaphore the route would be set Well, it isn't too bad, uh, though. Uh, I'm already two minutes early, and by the time I will reach Oposno Południe, I should gain like ten minutes. So, as long as I'm gaining some time, uh, it, it should be easy there we go and and that's where etcs starts and i need to switch my radio to channel one the thing is this locomotive doesn't have etcs so i am actually not benefiting from that but uh, normally pendolino should benefit and it should be able to reach 200 kilometers per hour on this stretch of tracks I am still limited to 120 though I mean with Pendolino you just brake harder it, it should have strong enough brakes to, to slow you down but yeah you literally have to like slam on the brakes uh, Vilk Vilku, hello, welcome to the stream I hope you'll have a great time today there we go, we finally reached like a reasonable speed
And now it's gonna take us, yeah, about an hour to, to reach the next station. And by the time we reach Katowice, it should be getting dark. Well, not too dark, um, because it, it gets properly dark in the game around 9 p.m. And I believe this service uh, will get to Katowice around half past nine, uh, half past eight. Uh, so it, it shouldn't be that dark. Uh, but yeah, definitely the weather will change by then. First time, uh, well, you can always check Bolt the Railway Dog, uh, he's also streaming some simulators every now and then, uh, mostly on Twitch though. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't think Bolt does anything on, on Steam, uh, or on YouTube, Jesus, uh, on Steam. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he plays Steam games, but uh, uh, or games from Steam, but... Uh, but yeah, he streams on, on Twitch only. And I stream on both at the same time, so... You can watch me on either of the platforms. And, and it doesn't really make any difference. Uh, you, can, you can see me here and there. But I'm glad you enjoy my content and I hope you will enjoy today's stream. <laughs> okay, and here we are. We are now again approaching a station that is showing me red signal chat i already know that because this signal was blinking which means the next one will be showing orange or yellow light if, if you prefer to call it that way and the entry signal to koritov will be showing me red at the time when i will be passing next semaphore i can guarantee you that 100 percent and I can play chicken with the dispatcher and just keep my speed. But that wouldn't be right. And I can't be sure that the signal will be set. This semaphore will confirm everything. And yep, it's orange. Okay, let's slow down to reasonable speed at which I can stop in case I need to. And then we shall approach the next semaphore which is already showing up in the distance. I am now driving at 60 km per hour. Uh, let's have a look and this one is showing... What are you showing? I can't really see what's what's on that se semaphore. It is definitely not red and it looks like a green, is it? Chat, it, it looks like green to me. Yeah, it is green. <laughs> El White, hello, hello to you too, and uh, yeah, uh, I am based around Manchester in in the UK, <laughs> so you came in a long way to reach my stream, and thank you very much for that. See chat, as I told you, it is a green signal.
Okay, I am still on time, chat. I am still on time. One minute early, in fact. Which is good. That is very, very good. Alexander Kalberg, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. How are you doing? Thank you very much for joining me, Vilko, and See you later. Oh, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Today just, well, doing a test stream, to be honest. Uh, I, I was hoping to make like a, the main stream of, of the week tomorrow. Uh, but it turns out everything seems to be working perfectly fine today. I have no issues. Nothing went wrong uh, you guys don't report any any issues with the sounds and, and stuff uh, so I I can assume that the streaming works which which makes me happy I, I managed to set up everything without actually setting things up uh, the hard way <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Looks like the locomotive is struggling a little bit. Okay, so the next post that I will be going past is Szeligi. We should be there in two minutes, uh, so not not so long. Uh, then ten minutes to Białorawska. About seven minutes to Strzałki. Okay, okay, there is some distance to cover. There we go, and again, this semaphore is showing that on the next semaphore I will have to slow down. And then probably the entry semaphore will be telling me, yes, you can just go in. I am 100% sure. It's exactly how it's gonna be. Oh, there we go. It actually managed to change right on time. So I, I could literally see the signal changing. So that wasn't too bad. go and that's the entry semaphore it's gonna show green perfect I am right on time chat right on time 
but because I haven't lost any time in here I might gain some for the next post unless developers adjusted timetables and they are now more correct and uh, because some players were complaining that we are able to gain a lot of time on our routes Oh yes, absolutely. I I look forward to see that station on correct uh, controls uh, because it it should have been done on mechanical controls to begin with. Uh, but I believe it's because they either don't have the system for mechanical switches just yet, or it's not complete in in the game. Or they are too afraid that players might not be able to handle that, uh, which I, I doubt this was the case. So I think it was rather because they got some technical issues with uh, with the normal switches. And I hope they're gonna resolve that soon and make Sosnowitz Południe correctly and that everything will work in there uh, on, on those uh, levers. Uh, because yeah, that's, that's one of the things I would like to try in this game. It, it's the only signal box that I haven't operated in this game yet. Uh, well, it, it does make sense if you see how some people are dispatching. Uh, like, you can see some players doing really silly mistakes on, on signal boxes, even with electronic devices, where you literally have to click on start point, end point, and tell the computer to execute the command. So imagine setting the the entire route using manual levers, confirming the line lock using manual levers, and and doing all that stuff using manual levers. Uh, because there is much more than just setting the junctions. Uh, you you literally have to engage manual locks in order to draw a signal. So there is a lot of work with that. Or, well, y you need to know which levers you need to pull and, and how to read uh, things that are on the signal, like, uh, or signaling equipment. Uh, so you need to be able to, to decipher what is pretty much the hidden message behind different numbers that you will find there. And, and many players can't figure it out on electronic devices where it's literally like uh, connecting the dots on on the straight line so yeah uh, uh, I, I think it's it's a valid point that they might have been scared that players can't handle that Right chat, we are on our way to Białorawska. We should be there in about four minutes.
Uh, well, there's like an ongoing debate about that on a uh, Polish section of the forums uh, where people are sharing different ideas of how to help people to level up and and like gain some experience before they jump into more complicated signal boxes uh, but there is no golden solution to that that is the problem So, as long as the game has public servers... Uh, ...the problem will persist. Uh, because, obviously, players can't, like, split between... ...people who actually know how to do it... ...and people who are learning how to do it. And both can be same as annoying. Sometimes someone can genuinely want to learn and, and that person will try and catch those informations really quickly and some people are just trying to act like they constantly don't understand simple things and 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 it's after a while it starts to get annoying literally when you get the same question asked over and over again and You know, single player dispatching is, is not something that this game actually needs, uh, honestly. Besides, the problem is that the game uses so much uh, resources of, of your PC that if you would run the game on single player uh, with dispatching mode on, it, it probably wouldn't work well maybe that's the issue and that's why they don't want to do it uh, on top of that uh, the timetable might not be complete uh, they are constantly adding new trains anyway uh, just to to make the tracks a little bit more populated uh, if you jump in on empty server let's say on Opochno południe which is the first station that can be player operated uh, that i will be passing through you will quickly notice that after 40 minutes you can literally figure out what is the rhythm at which you need to dispatch and you can't make mistake literally you, you just need to read the timetable to be honest you, you don't even need to start the station to figure out how to dispatch you literally need to read the timetable to realize okay so this train arrives at 11.35, uh, departs at 11.36, so I need to stop him at the platform. He needs to leave one minute later. So then I need to change the signal for him. Uh, in the meantime, there is a train coming from the other direction and he's gonna pass through these tracks. So while this guy is stopped, I need to change these signals and blah 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 it, if you go through one single station this way like it, it doesn't take more than an hour to learn it and then all the timetables are repeatable every hour that the same things happen the same trains are going through your station every single hour so there's not really much planning ahead uh, in order to have any any change from that routine of every single hour you need other players to dispatch and you need other players to drive otherwise every single train will arrive exactly on time and at the same time you will hear requests from other station to let this train through or send this train there like that's how dispatching in single player works in this game so you can just jump in on any server that doesn't have any players on. Pick up any any dispatch box that you would like to dispatch on. And you can try your best in dispatch there. You will be dispatching mostly bots. If you will clog this server, nobody will mind. Yeah. 
Uh, but if you will get onto one of the populated servers, which is EN1, PL1, or pretty much all the uh, Polish servers are very populated, most of the English servers are populated, uh, there's probably like two or three servers that are not, which is Ukrainian server, there's only one of them. Uh, there's like uh, Italian and French servers, uh, only half of them are usually populated. Uh, so those are servers that I would be aiming to, uh, to get when I want to dispatch in single player. I think there is also like a Spanish server where you can jump in. You don't really need a great ping for that. Uh, during prime time in Europe, pretty much all the North American servers are free to jump in and, and you can like dispatch there as much as you like because there's literally one or two players at most so you won't really make that much of a difference if you make a single small mistake but if you jump in on a server where there is like a 60 70 people connected or 40 50 people connected and you start making silly mistakes that is really gonna piss off someone like you get much more chance to piss off someone when you encounter 40 players than uh, than when you encounter none uh, so that's my advice if someone wants to dispatch in single player just jump in on any empty server and dispatch there honestly do it for an hour or two and you will figure out that every single dispatch box is exactly the same Oh, I have noticed something around Strauki and that is not something that we want to see, chat. Okay, it, it was very, very short period of time. I need to remember to report that uh, we had some blank. Uh, mile posts and that should not happen and that means that developers need to make sure they are showing correctly oh this one was blank this one was blank oh dear lord and this one was blank again I don't like it I don't like it that shouldn't be happening because that also means that any signpost that would be in that area will also be blank so these areas needs to be reported There we go, another blank one. These two were also blank. Oh dear lord. And this one, oh. That's interesting. Okay, this, these ones works. This one's also blank. Okay, so, so we got some blank signs around Strauki, which is not good. That is not good. Exactly, like em empty servers is exactly what single player dispatching would be. So I, I, 
as I mentioned that on the forums when uh, in, in one of the topics about single-player dispatching uh, I think it was in Polish section there's no need to create a single-player dispatcher because you can always jump on empty server and that's exactly what you're gonna get on single-player you're just gonna be dispatching bots and work with other AI dispatchers that are sending trains through so it makes absolutely no sense to make separate mode for your PC to handle all the calculations if you can share them with a server that is actually doing this for you Not exactly, like, as long as you know how to control your station and how to set the correct routes, you're halfway there. Uh, because then if you know what you want to achieve uh, on your, let's say, computer, you know how to do it, yes? So if you want to send a train from that signal to that signal, you know how to set the route. Uh, which is already part of the problem yes you you took over that part of learning so i i agree that like person needs to jump in on on like unpopulated server and learn how to control his own signal box so learn how to set and reset the routes uh, on on that electronic devices so or on that pc program uh, or learn how to set and reset uh, the route on uh, that uh, 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 relay panel and and that relay switch panel is is really like a huge challenge for many players because you got all those tiny relays that you need to engage and 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 obviously you need to know which ones uh, you need to engage in order to engage the route change the switches uh, set uh, set the signal then how to reset the signal how to release the route uh, how to engage the line lock how to disengage the line lock how to change direction of the line lock because you need to know how to do that and then during normal application you just need to apply that knowledge so this part you can learn in unpopulated server I wouldn't say in single player because it makes no sense you you won't really learn anything on, on single player uh, but those are things that yeah you can read manual uh, I believe when you jump in as a dispatcher in top left corner you got a link to the manual that will tell you what different functions of of your like a uh, devices will do and how they are working in order to to operate that correctly and you should you just need to read that yeah it's a lot of reading yes i understand that uh, but that's where it starts yeah then you need to learn the rules uh, because obviously you need to dispatch trains according to special uh, specific rules uh, that that are on polish railways and unfortunately you won't achieve that by sitting in a single player i can guarantee you that Dispatching bots won't tell you that. And finally, as a dispatcher, it is recommended that you activate the VoIP and actually communicate with the drivers and use voice communication.
Indeed, uh, but she won't get similar situations simulated in single player. So, yeah. Uh, again, starting as making single player mode just for you to do exactly the same as, as you can achieve on empty multiplayer server makes no sense again. And that was the, the whole point. Uh, but at least, yes, that will give you some experience in operating your equipment. Yeah, same, same as you are trying to drive a train in single player. You can learn how to operate specific locomotive and follow the signals. It is a little bit easier for drivers than it is for dispatchers because dispatcher has to be flexible when it comes to thinking. Driver doesn't have to have any flexibility because all you have to do is to follow the signs and signals if you lose the communication with the dispatcher. And dispatcher doesn't have that comfort you have to know what's happening on each track where you want to send trains to or from otherwise you will send two trains against each other and, and that's not something you want to do anyway chat we are approaching Ejikovice we should be there in about seven minutes. And from Ijikovice we got a very short route to Opoczno Południe. Halfway to Katowice. Oh. I, I'm not really observing my own train on the map, uh, but I, I can only believe you that, that we are, yeah, roughly halfway. I think Opoczno is pretty much halfway. And yet it's still a very long route. I'm actually surprised how much right on time I am. <laughs> like literally I haven't gained even a single minute and I could actually use one or two minutes uh, at Opochno so <laughs> this is getting fun. Obviously, since I'm not a bot, uh, if I would activate the bot, the bot would actually keep exactly 125 kilometers per hour, and he would probably arrive at Pochno Południe around 5 to 7. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, he, he would probably gain like 5 minutes. Maybe not from now. Uh, because it's too late, but from Warsaw, yeah, he, he would be like five minutes early. But AI just drives too perfect. A normal human being is not able to do that.
My goodness me, the tracks are so even that I might actually have to let it coast to slow down. Do I? Or do I have to actually use the brakes, which which would be even more hilarious. Okay, I see they actually fixed Ijikovice, because uh, Ijikovice also had the same issue with uh, setting late signals. And right now I see I got like a fly through. Uh, in fact, I might be reaching Ijikovice a minute early. Which should in turn give me... Oh, okay, I, I am now getting into like a speeding zone. I need to use no more brakes. Just a touch to bring the train back under control. Okay, it's gonna be a short speed limit of 120, <laughs> very short. Okay, yes, just as predicted, I am one minute early. There is a speed limit of 120. And now, chat, we are heading to Opochna Południa. We should be there in about 10 minutes. And back to 160.
Does anyone remember what was the time of our last stop? Uh, was it... Uh, 5.50 round, is it? I, I think it was around 5.50, is it? There we go. We are almost at Opochno. Oh, it looks like we will have a longer stop in here. Okay, but I see one problem out of Pochno right now. Chat, I shouldn't be getting this signal. So I will have to stop and ask dispatcher to route me correctly. Because he's trying to route me straight through, which is incorrect. There we go. I should be now limited to 60 on that semaphore in order to get where I need to. I hope he can see my messages. Oh, there we go. Uh, chat didn't work. And I changed something. Oh, dear lord. Uh, what did I change? Uh, uh, uh. Light dimming. Oh, okay. I, I don't need that. Ah, there we go. Uh, at least he is trying to fix it. But again, see chat. Uh, players don't know how to read the timetable. Uh, and he has that on his timetable. Player idle detected. No, 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 no. Uh, 
Ah, they lot and AI is and AI is now going to try and send the train forward. Oh dear lord. Uh, right. Uh, yeah, the guy doesn't know how to operate his station and, and that is a problem. And it's not that his station is stubborn, he just didn't learn how to operate it. Right, I need to go backwards before I can go forward. Because the guy is displaying the wrong signal in front of me, which makes no sense. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Ah, there we go. Now he displays the correct signal. And now, hopefully... He will figure out how to show me the correct signal. Uh, my avatar covers chat. Well, I, I'm not really talking much with, with the dispatcher. I just told him that he's sending me on the wrong route and because I need to get to the platform so now he needs to figure out how to route my train uh, yeah he now apologized that, uh, that it's taking a long time because it's his first service on that station. Uh, so yeah, just as I predicted, he got a new dispatcher and he's learning how to release the route. Then he will be trying to set my route in a correct way. Because apparently people struggle to connect the dots. He'll get there, he'll get there though. I'm, I'm quite sure of it. Although I will be late. I am already late. Chat, it doesn't look like 
this guy is gonna figure it out <laughs> at least not anytime soon let me just raise the pantograph I, I might be chilling on that signal for a few minutes at least Right, so, yeah, uh, so the dispatcher managed to release the route. The problem is he used that uh, slow way of releasing the route, which gives 90 seconds timer. After 90 seconds, he will be able to set my route again. So I got at least two or three minutes wait in here. <laughs> oh dear lord. Hey, but you can only get that in multiplayer. And again, uh, it requires driver to know the route. Yes, if I wouldn't know. Uh, if I wouldn't know that I have to stop at Opochno Południe yeah, and if I wouldn't know that I can't get a green signal on, on that particular signal, I would have just flown through. But because I knew I could stop in front of the signal, let the dispatcher know, hey, you are routing me in the wrong way, because I know the signal should be different and it should display me that uh, it should be double yellow with uh, orange with uh, yellow bar, uh, which basically means that my speed is limited to 60 kilometers per hour, and the next signal is stop because in the middle there is a platform. But dispatcher should have looked at the schedule and he should have, uh, have realized, oh, there is a train that actually has to stop. <laughs> at this platform. <laughs> okay, apparently the dispatcher uh, sent another train, uh, another EC train from opposite direction, uh, straight through the tra uh, through the wrong track. Uh, so yeah, uh, 
what what did you miss? Uh, you missed a perfect example of a learner dispatcher who doesn't know what to do. <laughs> he tried to route me to go straight through the station uh, without stopping at the platform, uh, which I managed to catch and I stopped in front of the signal, notified the dispatcher and he's trying to fix that. But while fixing this, he misrouted another EC train coming from the opposite direction and he did exactly the same to him. Oh dear, it, it looks like a dispatcher felt too much pressure or, or stress um, because we notified him, hey, you made a mistake, just fix it, and, and he just left. <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, uh, I should get a correct signal at least. Now ah, there we go. And that is the signal that I should have seen. Oh dear lord, and, and, and now I'm putting things into the chat. Right, so I'm about 10 minutes late, thanks to that. Woohoo! And now this thing should tell me instead of one minute early, uh, there should be like 10 minutes late. <laughs> and it will happen very, very soon. If not, it will happen on the next post. Well, at least I am rooted in a correct way. <laughs> so I can now exchange the passengers. And the funny thing is, uh, it's gonna only cause a delay to my train uh, and none of the other trains will be impacted by, by this. It, it's only my train that just got delayed. Uh, I believe any e EIE uh, well, or Pendolinos are not affected uh, because there is none coming right behind me.
There we go. Uh, I, I don't know why this thing is telling me you are approaching the station. If I am on the station. I am literally perfectly stopped, chat. You can't stop better on this station. Right at the edge of the platform, where the door should be. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I, I think uh, developers messed up this station and once again uh, they set the platform on the wrong side. I think that's what's the case. Uh, because I shouldn't get that top notification, you are approaching the station, because I am already at the station. I am literally stopped at the platform. Oh, there we go. Oh, uh, surprisingly, this train was routed on, on the wrong track. But are you loading? Uh, that, that is a good question, I am not sure. I'm quite sure that uh, the game still thinks that I should be on, on this track, even though there is no platform edge. Anyway, it changes nothing because... I need to wait for, for this train that just passed next to me to, to go away before I can carry on anywhere. So that will only increase my delay because at this point, I should be on my way to Olszamowice. But, surprisingly, I might make up that lost time on the next post. So, nothing's lost because I'm at Opoczno Południe. Uh, I, I can still fix things. Right, uh, I can now depart from the platform. But I will just slowly approach the signal, because uh, I, I don't know what's the indication, I can't really see it. You've passed your breakpoint, no I, I didn't. That is just one of the stations that I need to report as a bugged, uh, because that sh that should be a confirmed stop, and and they probably messed up something. Okay, uh, so my signal is apparently set correctly. Okay, that that helps. So as you can see, chat, the game still has some bugs. Oh, okay. Signal is correct. There we go. So that is the first passenger stops 
uh, stop in a while. Uh, sadly, developers still need to fix uh, stops of, of trains going from this direction at Oposno Południe. It is something that needs to be probably reported and hopefully it will be fixed around next two patches. Right, chat. So I am very late. Uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen. I might be overtaken by uh, by that express train. By the looks of it, yep, uh, definitely. Uh, there is express train to my left, and he's going to be passing next to me really soon. And on top of that, I need to lower the front pantograph which I forgot to do Aliyev, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you all have a great time today. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Uh, thank you for asking, by the way. We had some small bumps at Opochno Południe, where this patcher just rooted me incorrectly. And then when AI dispatcher fixed it, uh, like things didn't really work as it, as they should for some reason There we go, and that's Pendolino. I'll try, thank you very much for joining me today and have a good day, uh, Alexander. Or rather evening. Uh, yeah, it's it's getting late. There we go. Oh, there we go. And now I will have to slow down because my entry signal won't change on time. So I might as well let it coast. Since I can still see the back of Pendolino and, and he's not gaining on me fast enough. Uh, because the Pendolino will have to slow down. 
and we have key bi bindings for shunt control and brake well yes th there were always key bindings for that <laughs> yeah, there, there was a small bump in there, uh, like a dispatcher that didn't know how to, well, uh, the correct route to route my train, and obviously I ended up stopping at the entrance, uh, at the entry signal, and and uh, yeah, and and that caused about ten minutes delay. Nice and slow. You've been lurking for a while. Well, I usually stream every Friday. Uh, this week is just a small difference, uh, but I will be live tomorrow. Uh, I usually start at around 5 p.m. UK time. Uh, so that's how you can find me, both here on YouTube or on Twitch, uh, whichever channel you prefer. There we go, we got a green light. Well, we got green blinking light, which means that... Oof, 14 minutes, chat. 14 minutes. It's not something we can't work out, uh, but yeah, definitely it's gonna be a tough one. Making up 14 minutes is gonna take a while. And I can't guarantee anything because we are now in the section of the tracks which is operated by players and obviously as, as you could see players are not exactly the most reliable dispatchers around, sometimes at least. So they, they can make positive difference, but they can also make a very negative difference. So I assume I'm gonna arrive at Katowice with about 30 minutes delay in total. We already gained 14. <laughs> and we are just halfway through. Oh dear lord.
There we go. Oh, we got more empty plates. Yep, and there's more and more empty mileage or mile posts. There we go. Chat, we are back on track. I I can tell you that. We are back on track. Flying towards Olszamowice. I think we are going downhill and therefore I will have to give it a touch on the brakes just to make sure that I'm not gonna go over the speed limit. There we go. Not sure why, but uh, I I think the game looked slightly better when the colors were a little bit more livid. Uh, when when they washed it out a little bit in in the last patch, I don't know. the The evening looks a bit weird. Uh, okay, the grass has the correct color, but everything else it looks a bit too too bright there's like too much white in in all that um, maybe it's because HDR is, is like cranked a little bit too high oh we got some first communication chat we got some first communication
Okay, chat, we are at Olszamowice. Uh, let's see if we manage to make up any any time whatsoever. Would be nice to see that that we made up like a minute or two. Would probably help. Oh, fantastic. There is a dispatcher who actually uses his brain sometimes. Thank you very much. There we go. Twelve minutes. Uh, so I managed to make up uh, two minutes. And because I'm not going to be stopped uh, for additional four. anywhere around uh, I might actually make extra four minutes before I get to Vosova so that would give me 10 minutes delay there was supposed to be seven minutes stop which I can shorten to about a minute chat we got this we got this At Zawiercie, I should be on time. Unless... A dispatcher at Wosowa is gonna hold me for 7 minutes for no reason. And then I will be very, very angry. <laughs> Uh, what do you mean? Oh, yes, uh, if I mess something up, uh, yeah, I can technically turn on the bolt, uh, but why would I mess anything to begin with?
By the way, I, I wonder if when they will turn on different seasons in the game, because right now we got only summer. I wonder if they will now, uh, or if they will then synchronize the dates uh, with the current date. Uh, that would be really nice if if the game would pull out a data about current weather from like some sort of weather system, uh, which is not impossible. There are like uh, online weather systems that can tell you, hey, in in this place there's roughly this kind of weather. Like it's raining or it's not. Uh, that's pretty much all the information we need. Uh, or it's snowing or it's not. And I wonder if, if the game would actually dynamically change the weather according to real weather data. Uh, kind of similar to what uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator does. Uh, the one that was released in 2020, in fact. So yeah, uh, that, that would be interesting. Like, to get that dynamic weather around these tracks that would be synchronized with the actual weather that real train drivers would have to encounter right now. I think that would be awesome. There we go, that was an actual player. Yeah, I, I'm not fan of those washed out colors. Uh, I, I, I think... Ideally, uh, developers should give players a choice uh, which color scheme we would prefer. Uh, these ones, which are washed out. Uh, I, I, some players like them, uh, but... I don't.
Chat, we are getting close. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I, I'm still nowhere near Voschova. <laughs> Twelve minutes. Hmm. I should be there in like three, probably, from now. It's going to be about three minutes. So I hope I'm going to have the route set correctly. Otherwise, uh, all, all that work that I've done to, to keep my speed as close to the speed limit as possible will be wasted. And it's not easy because the track is going up and down, so obviously I need to keep an eye on, on my controls and, and, and speed. Because I, I can't really go over the speed limit. Or I shouldn't be going over the speed limit, uh, to, to, to be more exact. Oh, there we go. We will actually get a speed limit at the entry, which is perfect. And the speed limit at the entry to Warsawa is a hundred. That's what I just remember. <laughs> There it is, a hundred with a stop.
Oh, that was a harsh stop. But we made it! We made it, chat! Whew. See you're running a little bit late there, 104, 135. You can leave any time if you want. <laughs> okay, give me the light. Thank you very much, I'm leaving now. Okay, so I arrived seven minutes late, but because I managed to cut entire stop. I'm more or less right on time. Oops, a bit too quick. Go. Oh, never mind. This is a neutral section. So, no point to speed up. Now we can speed up. Okay, chat, we should be now back on schedule.
There we go, chat. The interesting part starts now. Uh, so we are heading towards player operated stations. Knapówka, Psary, Góra all that can be operated by players. Not exactly will, uh, in many cases it, it won't, because like Knapówka is uh, not the most interesting post to dispatch. Psary, yeah, uh, there, there can be interesting things happening. Uh, Góra Wodowska, come on, give me a break. Uh, like, it's, it's gonna be so boring. Perfect time, like a Swiss, and uh, not exactly, I am late. I am still late. Just one minute, but late. Nevertheless, chat, there's still plenty of places where I can catch more delays. Uh, Stefanecek, yes, you technically have right, because, uh, like, unlike Train Driver 2, where you got timetable that may change during the day, uh, in SimRail you will get fixed timetable with the trains that will always come around the same time. Uh, so, yes, it will become boring, it will become very repetitive, although... There's always things that other players may do uh, that will cause things to work differently. And that's the beauty of multiplayer. Uh, like in a single player, you always play the same scenario. Uh, nothing will change. Only your personal input will make any changes to the scenario. In multiplayer, there's another player that may mess up. So, there's always something different that may happen. There will be always different track conditions that you will encounter because there are other players and they can mess up. So today, my different and wrong track conditions were at Opoczno Południe, where I, cut, uh, where I got pretty much delayed by 15 minutes just because dispatcher didn't know how to route my train, my specific train, not how to route trains at all. He was able to send trains back and forth. The problem is that he wasn't sending them in the right directions. And that was the problem. Eventually, we got around this we got routed correctly and now we are back on track uh, this train have electric booster or is it too old? Uh, I think it's too old uh, technically field chant is, is a way to electrically boost the engine so it technically does have a booster so it can go faster than it normally would and that's how field shunt works uh, but yeah I, I, I don't think there's anything else that would act as a booster this particular locomotive was designed in 60s so it doesn't have any electronics in it.
There we go, chat. Now we are two minutes early. <laughs> we made it. We made it. We are back on the right schedule. And hopefully things will stay that way. I need to slow down a bit. There we go. Oh dear lord, there are so many neutral sections in here.
Okay, I, I think this is one of the longest stretches of tracks between different posts uh, that is on this route. It's between Psari and Gura Vodowska, which should take you roughly 20 minutes to go through. Uh, from my experience, it usually takes about 15 to 20. Yeah, uh, it, it's about right. It, it depends what train you drive and how close to your actual speed limit you can keep. AI can do this route in like 16, 17 minutes probably. Uh, for me it will take very close to 20. Ike Blacktail, thank you very much for joining us today and I hope you had a great time. Uh, see you next time. I, I should be live tomorrow uh, with slightly different content. It, it will still be some sort of like a simulation or something, but yeah, I, I probably won't go with Simrail tomorrow <laughs> since I've done it today. But hey, who knows? Time will tell.
<laughs> it's not three plantations, it's... It's an actual forest. But we are getting very, very close to Gura Vodovska. Uh, we should be there in about 10 minutes. Well, even less. Uh, not exactly full speed ahead, uh, I, I can still add some throttle, uh, but this locomotive is legally limited to 125 km per hour, so I can't go faster with it. Go. It's 
In five minutes we should be at Kura Włodowska, uh, at least according to the timetable. Realistically, I'm actually hoping to get there in about two. Maybe even less. There we go, we gained another minute. Right, chat. So now we are heading to Zawiercie. That should be pretty interesting. Uh, technically, according to timetable, we should be there in about 10 minutes. Uh, but I'm quite sure we're going to make it sooner. Then we will have longer stop at the platform. At least if a dispatcher there won't mess up and i can guarantee you that there is going to be player dispatcher at zawiercie there's there always is it's probably one of the most interesting dispatch posts or uh, like a uh, signal boxes to to dispatch on so yeah <laughs> uh, there's definitely going to be someone at zawiercie and i hope that this person is going to be reliable enough to route my train correctly
Okay, that was a sign for 160. Uh, it doesn't really affect me. If I would be driving Pendolino, that would bother me. But with this one, I can't even go that far. Uh, well, that fast. <laughs> that far. Well, I, I can go that far, but I, I can't go that fast. <laughs> There we go, and we are now also joining the other line. So, below us there was a line uh, heading to Częstochowa, and it's also go. Well, it's connecting Częstochowa with Zawiercie, so. And now we will be joining as a track number four to this one. Perfect. Chat, we are getting very, very close to Katowice. After Zawiercie, it should take us roughly around maybe an hour to, to get to Katowice, really. It's not that long route from now. There we go, now we have to slow down to a hundred. Because that's the approach speed for Zawiercie. There we go.
and there's also radio one. Oh, okay, we are on the correct radio. Oh, it should be radio two. Oh. There we go. So I messed up. <laughs> There we go chat, now we can take a very very short break, uh, our departure is in two minutes. <laughs> There we go chat, I am back. We already got exit signal. I just need to wait until 8.36 and before I can depart. There we go. You've passed your breakpoints now. I, I didn't. So as you can see chat, there are still some errors, uh, still some mistakes uh, that uh, basically player is notified of, even though these are not mistakes. Uh, 
and there's uh, there's nothing I can do about it. Thank you very much, Zavirce. Uh, I'm on my way. There we go. Another neutral section. There are so many on this route. Is that yeah, that should be roughly here. Perfect, we got a clear signal through Wazi. And we are right on time. Okay, maybe not exactly green signal. All the way through. That would be too easy, isn't it, chat? Ah, oh, never mind, the signal changed. Oops, uh, that was way too quick. <laughs> time that you are supposed to be stop is not 100% synced with the time you might need to stop a few extra seconds my suggestions uh, I mean yeah that that might be a solution but I uh, I want to avoid turning on that uh, F2 UI as much as possible in fact I, I wouldn't like to turn them turn that on at all
But yeah, I will try that method next time and and turn it on uh, to see if if that passenger stop is actually counting any minutes or seconds uh, because yeah. It, it's a bit of a shame that the game thought that I passed station without stopping even though I stopped and, and performed a correct passenger exchange. Not to mention that passengers had extra time to make that exchange so this should have been finished by the time that I departed. Ooh, chat, I am actually late according to, to this thing. Okay, now we are approaching Dobrowa Gurnicza Zomkowice. Oh dear lord, there are so many trains in here. Oh, there's still a problem with mirrors in uh, in L of trains that's why there is always like a blinking when you pass next to elf uh, in this game uh, it has that working mirrors which this train doesn't really have I forgot that I'm not on the main route where I can go slightly over the speed limit. 
<laughs> and I've been doing just over 120. <laughs> just the two hours at Zawiercie you need a break. <laughs> Nah, Zawiercie is not that hard, like, two hours in there is like a proper relax, I, I don't know, I, it is, yes, technically it is the most challenging uh, signal box in the game, but it's not that hard. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's exactly what I said uh, earlier on during the stream. Every single signal box is very repeatable. You don't really get much of a difference uh, after a while. Like, you need an hour or two and, and then that's pretty much it. After that time, uh, you can figure out what is the rhythm of specific signal box and, and it's it's like yeah it's very easy I'm not sure why I am being stopped at this platform, but I will probably figure that out at some point. Question is, does my train actually fit? And oh wow, Malamus, thank you very much for joining the crew. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> I hope you'll have a great time. Right, uh, ah, yes, just as I expected, yeah. I, I am at the back of my train and I'm still on the junction. Okay, I, I'm gonna pull closer to the signal. Just to make sure that I cleared the junction. I'm not sure why AI sent me here. But I need to stop very, very close to the signal if... If I want the train to actually fit. And I still don't quite fit. Well, I, I at least managed to clear the junction.
but I'm not sure how well this is gonna work because technically my train is right behind the junction and I'm not sure if I cleared it Yeah, see, that's the problem. AI sent me on. Uh, on a track where my train doesn't fit. And I'm blocking this signal. So unless I'm going to get exit signal. This is not going to work. Kaliev, uh, thank you very much for joining me today and I hope to catch you next time. See ya! Did I run from Katowice to Warsaw earlier and the AI dispatcher sent me to the same track? Oh, okay, fair enough. So yeah, technically AI shouldn't be sending you here because now I'm blocking I'm effectively occupying two blocks, uh, which which shouldn't happen. Uh, if AI is uh, hoping to stop me, uh, it should stop me on, on the platform right next to. Uh, so if I will go... Oh dear lord, I can't even jump over that fence. This is fun. Uh, yeah. If AI would send me on, on that signal, which shouldn't be a problem, technically. Then... I would fit. It's just my train, it's two cars too long, yeah, two wagons. And now I'm blocking two blocks, uh, because this signal, that goes in opposite direction, obviously can't be cleared. I'm also not sure why this signal is here at all, to be honest, uh, because there's little to no space. Oh, someone forgot to drop the front pantograph. Well, I hope AI didn't broke and that I will get a proper exit signal. But one can only hope.
Okay, technically, I might be going after that uh, light engine, which would make sense. Uh, But yeah, AI now did a very, very weird thing. We... In fact, I can take some time to wash the windows. There you go. Might as well wash another one. For some reason AI really, really, really wants me to be delayed. And the funny thing is, it's not sending anything else on the nearby track. doesn't look like my signal is going to change. Okay. Two four two two three nine approaching the station. Interesting. So at least the trains in this direction are going. That's a shame, chat. Uh, would a light engine have priority over passenger train? Uh, no, not really. Uh, although very often light engine would be sent ahead um, because it doesn't really have to stop and uh, it doesn't really have that much of a speed limit uh, the only speed limit for light engine uh, maybe i need to press a key on the radio now that doesn't work on on multiplayer so i i can press whichever i want in multiplayer and it doesn't work Uh, because there is no script attached to it, so... Unfortunately, that is not going to solve my problem. And I can't really go any further. I, I could technically try and stop, like, literally with my buffer right next to that signal. I can go as far as the magnet goes, technically. But that's, what, half the length of, of the locomotive. And if I remember correctly, there is one and a half wagons sticking out of the signal, which is not going to help. If that would be a matter of few millimeters, I... Ooh, okay. So maybe after that train, the AI will be able to send me through. Chat, 
chat it might be that right after this train I will be sent through it, even though I got higher priority technically uh, because reasons or there might be something wrong at Dombrova Gornitra and, and that might be the reason why I'm stopped No, it seems like Dombrova Gornitra on Rainfall this server. Uh, 3A Sawuchi Station, be prepared to slow down to 40 km an hour due to track switching. Hmm. It's weird, chat. It's weird. It's weird. I think Dombrova Gurnica messed up something. And Zomkovice can't really root trains. Oh, never mind. This train departs, which is nice. So I might be going next. Although it's a weird choice from uh, from AI. And the voyage of technical problems. Yes, it is. It is a technical problem, chat. Oh, did I just... Yeah. It is a technical problem, uh, but I will get over with it. Uh, I, I just need to wait for that signal to change. There we go. But now I will be following a passenger train, which makes, well, a commuter train, which is going to be slowing me down for no reason. Just because AI decided, you know what, yeah, I, I, I will send someone else through. Well, it doesn't look like I'm gonna go far.
Which is a shame because at this time I was supposed to stop at Sosnowiec. And I'm just approaching Dombrowa Gornicza. There we go. Four zero six nine zero. Good evening, Sosnovets. Uh, entry given. Platform two, track two. There we go. Uh, behind the schedule, but I will try and work out something. Uh, I, I won't be able to make up that much time. Uh, not in this area. But let's just try and keep it below 15 minutes and, and that would be an achievement. Although I'm not sure if that's gonna succeed. Oops, didn't make it. Ah, oh, no, what a shame. Oh, dear Lord. I, I forgot these signals are very, very close to each other. Oh, dear Lord, I, I definitely need to work on that. Oops, yes, indeed.
<laughs> oh well, even I mess up every now and then, chat, even I mess up. But yeah, it, it's a bit of a shame that I messed up uh, so close to the end. It was... Almost perfect run. If not for that signal. Marius too, hello, welcome to the stream, I hope you will have a great time today. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I need to remember that when approaching this particular station you have to really break hard. Twenty minutes. Ow. Ouch. 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 That's a delay. So I worked so hard to clear that delay. And at Zavierce we were exactly right on time. And then Dombrova Gurnica was the town where everything went bad. <laughs> Literally, not if if not for Dombrova, uh, then we would be right on time. Right, let's depart, and let's see what's going to happen next. Still got Benjin, Sosnowiec Główny, all the way to Katowice. Okay, the speed limit is 100 kilometers per hour, uh, if I remember correctly, and it should go up to uh, 210, right about here. There we go.
<laughs> the devs make everyone stop as close as they can before signal W4. Uh, not exactly, like this particular platform was pretty much same as long as my train, so I had to pull as close as I can to W4 in order to fit my train within the platforms. No, okay, I, I got red light after this platform. Yeah, there we go, we can now proceed into the platforms. There is no need for me to rush. <laughs> At the point to be a train driver, you have to know length and weight of the train. It's it's not that hard to figure out what's what's the length of the train and what's the weight of this train in in the game. I think I posted a, a small guide to it. Uh, on the forums so basically right now I'm pulling I believe nine wagons each of them is I uh, can't remember what's the length of those uh, 26 meters long I believe I, I think it's 26 meters for each of these wagons uh, so there's that so that's 226 plus the length of locomotive and roughly around 240 meters uh, that's the length of my train
Although I can't remember what's the weight of each of these wagons, uh, but yeah, it's it's something that can be worked out at some point. Squadron 4141 looking for an exit to Katowice, please. 40141, roger that. There is a high priority train behind you which is delayed. Uh, it's going to pass you and then you will be given the uh, clear signal to Katowice. I expect it's going to be from about four minutes. Go. Oh, forty two one nine zero derailed. That's interesting chat. We got some derailments on English server. That's the signals you've given me.
Okay, I, I hope we will be able to cut this stop short. Hopefully that was long enough. One, four, one, three, five, you're cleared through to Katowice uh, when ready. Thank you very much. 26 minutes, oh dear lord. <laughs> well, I'm afraid I can't go too fast. to the next signal and expect the line will be clear in the next minute or so. I mean, I'm following the train in front visually at the moment, so I'm not sure how that's worked. Say again, sorry, I didn't get that. I mean, I'll signal between me and the next train in front, so that's fun. Hello, Sosniak. Sosnovetsia cleared to enter on track to platform 3. Okay, thank you. There we go. I'm not sure why this patcher actually stopped uh, that 41 for 1. Uh, that, that was a weird decision to be honest. Uh, because he would be able to clear this section before I... Uh, before I could get through it. But hey, I'm not a dispatcher here, so I'm not going to be complaining.
There we go. Chat, we are almost there. Very close to Katowice. Unfortunately, just as I predicted, I'm gonna get to Katowice around half an hour late, which is ridiculous, but hey. It is what it is. Almost there, chat. Platforms at Katowice are just up ahead. There we go, chat. We managed to reach Katowice. Uh, I just need to... Drive into the platform. Perfect. Zero minutes delay. Um, I, I doubt and we are... Nearly 20 minutes late.
Good night, Trabruka Nitra. I have to head light. There we go. go almost there chat almost there the scenario should finish in a second And there we go. Right, chat. So. <laughs> the scenario took 4 hours, 11 minutes and 6 seconds. Distance driven was 302 kilometers. Which is not too bad. Not too bad, chat. Not too bad. Although, mistakes were made. Uh, I, I have to admit that mistakes were made. So. Let's have a look at the graph. Uh, we had some minor mistakes at the beginning, which isn't too much of a problem. But I believe there should be... Okay, there was speed limit violation. And then... Uh -uh, where are we? Where are we? I'm not sure if... Oh, the game doesn't really issue penalty if you attempt to pass a signal at danger, which is incorrect. It was supposed to. Yeah, that's the Brava Gurnicia, so that's when I was... traveling and all of a sudden the game stopped me uh, perhaps I can uh, can I oh okay yeah the, the game was running for too long oh uh, <laughs> and it takes a while to, to adjust the graph uh, because you can always adjust it a little bit and this way you can enlarge events within that. Okay, departing station ahead of scheduled. Oh, okay, so Zawiercie, I departed ahead of scheduled time, which is incorrect. I, I was right on time, but... Nevertheless, chat, that was 
a journey. I, 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 I have to say that this was a journey. <laughs> oh, do Lord. Oh, do Lord. Do Lord. Oh, my goodness me. Oh. I'm tired, chat. I am tired. <sighs> but positively tired. I, I have to say I am positively tired. Mm, I, I think I messed up my... Avatars. Yeah, I, I, I think this thing messed up a little bit. <laughs> oh, dear lord, dear lord, dear lord. Why am I so tiny on that screen? Uh, let's, let's, let's just check. Uh, uh, oh, uh, I, I, I did some... some Oh, okay. Uh, that doesn't work well. <laughs> I think it broke because the game used so much resources. And yeah, as you can see now, my avatar is going to be small. <laughs> Unfortunately, there is not much I can do about it, is it? Uh, or, or perhaps is, is there... Uh, oh, okay. I... I I, I don't want to enlarge my tash. Oh, dear, dear lord, the, the game is trolling me. There we go. Oh, oh there, 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 there we go. There we go. Oh, no, now it's too large. There we go. Oh. Perfect. Back in its right place. <laughs> and and hopefully it will stay like that. <laughs> Right, chat, chat, chat. Oh, it, it it was an amazing journey. Uh, as you can see, I, I still got some practice to do uh, when it comes to this route. Even though I, I really like it, even though I, I've driven it quite a few times already. Uh, there is always a spot or two that can catch me off guard and, and I have to fix and learn more and more and more each time I drive and this time was no different so the biggest mistake of of this route or of this uh, trip was uh, passing signal at danger obviously that should never happen uh, I should be using my brake a little bit harder than than I do but other than that uh, few minor mistakes uh, in in a couple of places I, I went a little bit over the speed limit uh, although I managed to get the train back uh, to the correct speed uh, quite quickly uh, in one place I, I changed the channel to, to the wrong one and, and the game punished me for that but other than that it was pretty pretty well done run uh, I, I've seen much worse on the internet, so I, I guess I, I wasn't the worst one, uh, but there's still some practice to be done from my side. Right, Chad, I hope you enjoyed this trip. It was the longest route you can get in, in Simrail, uh, all the way from Warsaw to uh, Katowice. And as you can see, it takes a long, long time. Uh, if I would be on time, providing I would be on time, that scenario would still take nearly four hours to complete. And it took over four hours to complete, just because uh, Dombrova Gornica Zomkowice decided to stop me for about 20 minutes for no reason. Uh, but, well, there's nothing I can do about this. Anyway, chat, if you like this video or stream or yeah, whenever you, you watch it, uh, probably when next people will be watching that, it, it will be already a video. <laughs> anyway, if you liked it, uh, give it a thumbs up and obviously don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That really helps this 
tiny channel to grow. If you are watching me on Twitch, uh, then press that follow button. And finally, if if you really want to support my content, please consider to become a crew member. And that is definitely really helping my channel a little bit more directly than subscribing. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.